So I'm up early this morning for another workout, but I'm not going walking on my normal walk today. Unless you count walk, walking in the grocery store as walking. I guess it does count as walking, doesn't it? But I don't think I'm going to get quite as much exercise as I do going three miles. I'm buying some meat today. Let's go see what's on sale. Well, you know you're here early when you beat the water delivery truck. <laughs> Gotta get here early if you want to get those manager specials though. This is definitely the time to come shopping here. There's more employees than there are customers right now. <laughs> Some of the specials I found is savings on a chuck tender roast from about $6.60 a pound to $4.37. Rump roast from $6.74 a pound to $4.59. Porterhouse from $12.47 to $9.98. Same thing here. And a couple of cowboy cut ribeyes reduced down to $9.98 a pound. Still not the cheapest, but with all the food in Florida being sent down to the Sarasota area still, it's amazing there's anything on the shelves lately. I'm just glad to be able to get this. <laughs> so the meat alone on that haul was about $75. That really just drives home to me how important it is for me to take advantage of those $6.99 a pound ribeye days at Publix when they come again. And uh, at Christmas, I think they even run it as low as $5.99. I can't remember if it was $6.99 or $5.99, but I'm going to pay really close attention this year. I know they ran stuff, uh, they ran the ribeye for $6.99 a pound on Labor Day, so that was a great savings too. Next stop, Publix. I know that they've got top sirloin on sale for $5.99 a pound right now, which is not my favorite, but it's better than some of the other prices on things out there when times are tight like this. And uh, just really re-emphasizes how important it is to take advantage of those deals on ribeyes when they go $6.99 a pound or $5.99 a pound. All right, something strange happened here. I uh, did not have any sound on this part when I got back, so I'm recording over it now. I'm looking for the fat on this meat as I pick these pieces out. I want as much fat as I can get on there. I also got to talk to the Publix meat department man and found out they do not use any type of natural flavoring on their hamburger meat. And they grind their own right here in the store. So that was encouraging. And here you can see the fat cap on the sirloin. That's my favorite part. That's usually a little more expensive sold separately. But the market ground beef, when you see market on the ground beef, that means it's the trimmings that they use right there in the store. And it has a lot more fat. And he said that's the only burger he'll buy here. So my audio was still failing at this point. And I just want to point out that uh, I really realized how important it is to get that $6.99 a pound deal whenever those ribeyes go on sale. Because I spent $150 today on meat that's not my favorite. So since I got started uh, a little later, I don't have as much time to go walk today. So I didn't even think I was going to have time to walk at all. But really, I've got about 30 minutes before I've got to start working on my day job. So I'm going to get a mile in out here. And I've bumped up the weight vest from 24 pounds to 32 pounds. So I can uh, not only increase the weight, but especially since I'm doing a shorter walk, I think a heavier ruck would be good. Let's talk about those push-ups this morning. It was another day uh, where it was, I was tired from yesterday, but not like the day before. So pushing through yesterday really worked out great. And I was able to get a good workout in this morning. I really feel it in this, in my, in my shoulder area up here in the front and in my chest area and in my triceps. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. Feels, I feel younger. I feel stronger. And there's so much to be said about that. The sacrifices that I have to make for a diet like this are nothing compared to the rewards. When you feel good and you're not used to feeling good, that's a big one. 
I mean, I'm not rucking 120 pounds Goggin style or something, but I'm building up to it. And it's making a huge difference. Maybe this time next year I will be rucking closer to that. But you got to get there in slow steps. You just take it one day at a time. Get what you need to survive on this diet. Get the exercise you need to pound your body into shape. And enjoy the new you. Have you started yet? Have you started a diet that's going to change the way you think and feel? Have you been afraid to try something that you've been told most of your life is uh, counterintuitive or not healthy? People still tell me all the time I'm going to get cancer, I'm going to have a heart attack, I'm going to have all kinds of things. What a horrible thing to tell people who are trying to do something healthy for themselves. I don't even say that to the vegans, even though I don't agree with a lot of the things they think and say. Leave people alone. That's the best thing I can tell you. Worry about what you got going on in your life. Worry about how you're doing it. And if you share it with somebody else or somebody shares something with you, don't dump all over it. Even if you don't agree with it, just listen. You might learn something. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people look at me like I'm crazy and think that this diet is going to be the death of me. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure I would still be alive if it wasn't for this diet. So every day is a grateful day. A day that I give thanks for. And every steak is wonderful to bite into. So I'm loving life. And I'm living the best life right now. And you can too, if you decide you want to make your health a priority, sacrifice some of the things that you've been using to overcome the, the difficulties of life and enjoy living it. Say, screw it. I'm going to get up and do it. And do it today. Make a difference. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?